hey guys first take up here welcome back again in today's video i want to show you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how you can install windows 11 on your mac this tutorial will work on any mac with an intel processor sadly it's not going to work on the m1 Macs. for everything to work out smoothly you're going to need three files for this installation which is the latest windows 11 iso you're also going to need the most recent windows 10 iso file and lastly any iso maker of your choice but I'm going to leave a link to the one I'm using in the description box. And of course, I'll put the link to everything that I'm going to use in the description box. The reason for having two Windows installation files or ISO is for us to be able to bypass the incompatibility issues during installation. Initially, when I tried installing it the usual way, everything went on fine until system reboot and prompted me with this error message here. So if you run into an error message that looks like this while trying to install Windows 11 on any PC, this method I'm going to show you should be able to fix it. Windows 11 has some new system requirement which is necessary for a successful installation of the new operating system. The most necessary hardware requirement is mainly TPM 2.0 security and secure boot. TPM stands for Trusted Platform Model. All Macs do have secure boot, but I'm not sure if there's anything like TPM chip on a Mac. That's why we have to bypass this requirement by using this method. Okay, as I said initially, we need three files for this installation to work. I have you on my desktop the Windows 10 ISO file and Windows 11 ISO file as you can see. Then if I should go to my application folder, I have my ISO maker as you can see here, which is any to ISO. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to right click on the Windows 10 ISO file as you can see here and click open with text image mounter. As you can see, we have a pop-up folder on the desktop. So what we need to do next is to select all the item in this folder like so, right click and copy it. Then we're going to create a new folder on the desktop then we'll call the new folder. Let's call the new folder build. So after creating the new folder, we open the new folder and paste the items that we copied. Let's just wait for it to finish copying. Okay, so after that, we close the folder and close the other folder that we mounted initially and let's unmount the ISO file right click and just click on eject like so so now we have our Windows 10 installation files inside the build folder so let's quit this first then we're going to repeat the same step with the Windows 11 ISO file right click we right click on Windows 11 ISO, open with Dix Image Mounter. And as you can see, we have our Windows 11 installation file here. So what we're going to do right here is we open the sources folder and locate a file called install.wim. Let me change the view here to list view so it will be easy for us to look at it. Okay, we have it here. So we have the install.wim file here. It's about 4.22 gigabytes as you can see here. So let's copy this and temporarily paste it on the desktop first. Good. So now that we're done pasting that on the desktop, let's close this and quit this and unmount this as well. So the next thing that we're going to do now is to rename the extension of this file to .esd. So to do that, we right click on it, we click get file info. And once that is done, you see this dialog box right here. If you click on the small arrow like so, it should open the file name with the extension. So we just have to remove the wim file like so and type esd esd and hit enter it will give us this pop-up we click use esd and that's it as you can see now our file has been renamed from install.wim to install.esd 
So the next step now is to open our build folder of Windows 10 and go to the sources folder, locate the same file, ESD. After locating the file, right click and move to trash. Okay, it will ask us to put our password. So in my case, I'll just put my password. And that's it. So now the next thing we're going to do now is to move our installed ESD that we copied from the Windows 11 installation file to this Windows 10 installation folder. So we just drag this and drop here. Ask for password again. And put our password. And click on OK. And that's it. So we close the folder. So now we have the build folder ready for us to make an ISO again. Okay, so now that we're done replacing the file inside the build folder, so it's time for us to launch our ISO maker. I have it here already on the so I just launch it like so, then I go to the folder to ISO tab and now click on browse for folder. It's located on the desktop, so desktop, I click on the build folder and click on open. Okay, so we have the source folder, we have the destination folder and the volume level. So what we need to do next is to click make ISO. As you can see, it is making our ISO file for us. As you can see, it did not really take long to create the ISO file. As you can see, we have it here on our desktop, build.iso. So this right here contains a Windows 11 installation file. So the next thing we're going to do is to head over to Utilities folder and look at both cam assistant and open it. Next thing is to click on continue. Let's create a partition for our Windows installation. Okay, that should be fair enough. Then I now click on choose ISO. And I'll go to desktop. I click on the build ISO. Remember not to click on these other two ISO here, the Windows 10 or 11. Click on the one that you build. Build, then now click on open. After that, we click on install. So Bootcamp will do the rest for us. It will go to the internet and download all the necessary Windows support software for us. But make sure you have a very good working internet connection. Mm, it's saying your computer isn't connected to power source, so continue on battery power. I have enough battery, so continue on battery power. So depending on your internet connection, this might take a little while. But for this video not to be too long, I'm just going to fast forward this to the next step. All right. Okay, as you can see, it's asking us to put our password. So I'm going to put our password, then it's going to restart the system and we'll begin the Windows installation process. I'll just key in my password here. And click on OK. All right, as you can see, we now have the Windows initial setup screen. So we have to click on next. Uh, you can choose your preferred language if you wish, but US is okay for me. So I click on next. I don't have a product key. Let's move forward. Then in my case, I'm going to choose Windows 11 Pro. You can choose 11 Home or whatever. Let's stick to Windows 11 Pro here. Okay, accept the terms and condition and now click on next. 
as you can see our installation is starting this process shouldn't take up to 10 minutes depending on the speed of your computer so we can just click on restart All right guys, so welcome to Windows 11. As you can see, we now have the new initial setup screen. So we click on yes, United States, of course. Select your keyboard and you can just decide to skip this. Okay here we're going to continue with limited setup because we do not have internet connection since we do not have all the drivers installed yet so i don't have internet connection so it's giving me an option to continue with limited setup okay we're going to give our pc a name We come to this point where you choose your privacy settings for your device you can decide to turn some off and or turn everything right off so as for me i'm going to turn off advertising id and turn off the last option right here and click on accept and wait for windows to do its thing getting things ready for you this may take a few minutes all right guys welcome to windows 11 so on the background bootcamp drivers is waiting for us we click on here we have welcome to bootcamp installer so we click on next accept install so guys as you can see things are beginning to get a lot polished and cleaner as the drivers is installed on the background uh, we're just going to wait for it to finish and i know it's going to ask us to restart our system okay guys bootcamp just finished so now it's asking us to restart our system so we now click on finish you as you can see restart is being selected already so if we click on finish it will reboot the system okay guys so it looks like the scaling is a bit off so we're going to head over to settings app and fix that immediately right click go to display settings and just turn off custom scaling and sign out click on turn off custom scaling and sign out it should be able to fix that for us so guys we have a working windows 11 on our macbook so that is a step-by-step -step guide on how you can install the latest windows 11 on your macbook so the next thing that you can do is to go to settings and go to update and security then you check for the latest updates as you can see we have some updates for our new windows 11 so that is it guys if you like this video give me a like and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts with me down in the comment section below what do you think of windows 11 so far i like it so much i love the rounded corners though they are not consistent there are some areas that are not rounded example the scroll bar here this is still the old scroll bar from the old windows 10. we have the new file explorer as you can see with new icons uh, this is a step in the right direction for Microsoft. I like the new user interface right here. Everything just looks modern from a visual standpoint. It looks clean. I like how the icons look sharp and modern. Uh, not as clunky as it used to be. Bye-bye lifestyle. Icons are here to stay and I think I like it. 
So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, give me a like and subscribe to the channel and make sure to check the links in the description for all the necessary files and requirements for this installation. Bye-bye.